What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to, or welcome to, I, well, I should say welcome back to Life is Strange. I decided to uh, finish it before, for some reason, I felt like stopping it, but now I actually feel like continuing it. Uh, episode 5 is out, which is the last, um, I guess, section of the game, or portion of the game, but I haven't done episode 4 yet, which is Dark Room. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, when I finished episode three, I think we were left with, uh, I think we changed the past, and now I think Chloe is in, uh, I think she's in a wheelchair or something. But anyways, let's get on with the game. <clears throat> Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! I really wish I would have been able to save her. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, Stelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. <coughs> I apologize if I look like shit, just because I'm still, like, sick, but I think it's almost over. I wonder how this is going to turn out now. It's a little crab. Doing the crab walk. I'm expecting him to get washed away or something. <laughs> gulls. A lot of seagulls. Square Enix. Humans. Kind of not like it looks like. See, those bikes, like the, the big one you saw there, that, those are so uncomfortable, they're, they're not, uh, well, I guess one, they're not safe, but <clears throat> two, they're very, um, it's very, uh, I guess uncomfortable to ride, because if you hit a bump, there's no suspension on it, so it's just like, bang! Oh, I, I rode those when I was a kid. <clears throat> so I'm seeing dead whales. <clears throat> Sorry, my, my throat suddenly has decided to have stuff in it, so I'm constantly clearing my throat. There's a lighthouse too. I'm assuming there's probably supposed to be music here, but I remember I turned that off, so I'm just gonna throw in my own music. So right now for me this is kind of like awkward because it's just silent and I'm just I don't know what's going it's on. 
weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Meanwhile, you've got dead Those whales in front of you. so sad. Yeah, exactly. I kind of know how they feel. Oh, jeez. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. <clears throat> Along with my parents. What? My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, she got into an accident. Um, where's my mouse? Hello? Why isn't my mouse working? What the hell? It's on, right? Yeah. Where the fuck is my mouse? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. So, the mouse wouldn't pop up, then I realized you gotta click and then drag. I forgot that's a thing. <coughs> and, uh... I couldn't figure that out, and I just accidentally picked the thing. But, I mean, and I guess now we know what happened, but... Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really, I made that decision by accident, that's the thing. Um, hmm. To go with this one. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Uh... You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. <laughs> but none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Yeah, she's certainly different.
It's really interesting how, like, absolutely different she is. It's almost like a parallel universe, but, I mean, you think in a parallel universe, like, I'm alive in this universe, I might be dead in the other universe, but, I don't know, Some, it, I don't really know how that kind of works, but, I don't know, it's just, I don't think we should have changed the past at all, like, just shit's always gonna happen. Pretty high tech lair. It feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Okay, now we're like completely in control. She really needs water. Wait, what's that? Cup. Do we take the cup? Ooh, what's mouth controlled joystick? Wow. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. <clears throat> That's insane. There's the old Chloe. Hmm. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Gas mask optional, oh god. Use? Uh, I, I don't think so. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. It's so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Um, kind of. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. See, if I ask which friends, that might sound like, oh, you have friends? Like, that'd be kind of rude, so I'm going to go with this option. <laughs> you have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Okay. 
I'm gonna go with I bet because I'm. I mean, they she said they're busting their ass to, to do that stuff. So. Yeah. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get she this did. show on the road. <laughs> and you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. So... Draw, draw, tissues. Okay, so movie here. Um... <laughs> Snow dough. <laughs> um... Oh, it's actually a dough. Okay. I thought it was supposed to say snow dome. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. <laughs> I, I actually, yeah, I see snow globes, and then this one says snow dough. I thought it was supposed to say snow dome. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, like, that snow dough. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Snow globes are taking over. Skateboarding. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Yeah. DVD player drawer, teddy bear. Um, look. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Oh, uh, is it maybe in the drawer? Yeah. Ah, oh, here's the DVD. What's in this one? Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Yeah, it just says pirate power. Okay, uh, teddy bear, what is it? <clears throat> Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Okay, DVD. See, if I were her, I'd probably try and get in, like, on the side of the bed with her or something. I don't know. Just because, like, I mean, sitting there is fine, but I mean, you just kind of feel distant. And it'd be kind of awkward. I, I find it. Maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> she fall asleep there? Oh, that would be, must be so uncomfortable. I know when I fall asleep like that, I wake up and like my back's all tense and sore, and my neck. Is she awake the entire night? <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Yeah. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. 
Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Alright, guys. So, that, I think they'll end the first episode for episode four off there. <laughs> I'm just thinking how that sounded, but... Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. I will uh, probably play the entire episode four tonight and then make the episodes and then I'll be set. And uh, yeah, as always, bye for meow. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like chowder, but with cats.